Well, John, at the end of your book, you wrote, no matter, I thought this was a great uh, little uh, soundbite or whatever, no matter what position you take on the nature of existence, you must start with something seemingly absurd. What did you mean by that? Well, the fact that something, anything exists right now means that something has either always existed or something came into existence out of absolutely nothing. The third choice might be that this whole existence is absolutely absurd to the core. So those are our three choices. And um, you must start with a, a brute fact, you know, a seemingly absurd brute fact, no I matter think, what. therefore, I am. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Um, and uh, it seems to me that uh, when we compare the brute facts of a Trinitarian um, God who um, existed forever, that um, um, ha- had never learned any new knowledge and uh, doesn't uh, act like we sh- are supposed to act by helping people in need, uh, yeah, and that's I'm referring to the problem of evil there, uh, and on and on and on it goes, uh, that uh, that brute fact is uh, wildly implausible to me. So it would seem, though, as seemingly absurd as it was, the simpler brute fact is that uh, something came into existence out of nothing. Now, nothing can be described as uh, uh, an equilibrium of positive and negative energy. And if that's the wait, case... Wait, 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 wait. How can nothing be described as a balance of energy? Isn't energy something? Um, well, you know... Uh, it seems to me that, uh, like I said, it's seemingly absurd, and that's what you're asking me about, right? You're confirming, um, Lael, that yeah, it is absurd. Yeah, yeah sure, sure. Uh, but if if we grant the laws of physics, uh, then Victor Stenger has argued that, and I can't follow his math too well, I'm not a mathematician. I'll have to let the mathematicians look at his math, but he says that yeah, given the laws of physics, it's a 60% uh, chance that something would have arisen uh, out of nothing. Um, so that at least is an explanation for um, this universe that the Trinitarian forever existing uh, God who didn't have free will to choose his own nature, in my opinion, and, and never chose his morality, um, you know, otherwise he could have chosen a different morality. That all that uh, ball of wax, that brute fact, is uh, just uh, too I- improbable. Uh, so and if you're, yeah, I would well, just say as a word to you who are listening out there, if you're sort of interested in that line of, of uh, evidence, we welcome you to check our archives at thethingsthatmattermost.org where we have two shows with Victor Stinger, author of God, the Failed Hypothesis, on the show with Hugh Ross. And they did have an interesting conversation about, about nothing and what nothing truly is. Boy, which, that's... Which I that's cannot a... repeat here. <laughs> Not because of any kind of moral quality, just because I don't have that kind of brain power. Okay, so, so, so John, um, so there actually is a, is a clarification. You, you said here, no matter what position you take on the nature of existence, you must start with something absurd. But also you would say the absurdity of the Christian viewpoint is more absurd in your view than Victor Stenger or a similar view that something came from nothing. Well, yeah, I mean, uh, you have to make a choice, and uh, it seems like the simpler explanation is the better one.